different question. So this time we will talk about different question. Before we actually covering this topic, I want to review the slope formula first. If we have two points such as 1 and 3 and then 4 and 7, how to find the slope? passing through those two points then m equal to y2 7 minus y1 3 over x2 4 minus x1 1 so it becomes 4 over 3 that's how we found the slope so far right okay now I want to using function notation and then reset up this point and define the slope again then, so using the function notation, then those points can be rewritten as f1 equal to 3 and then f4 equal to 7. It means if we just using as other pair again, then we can rewrite this 1 comma f1 then 4 comma f4 here okay now so is 4 so 4 how much more than 1 yes 4 means from the initial value x1 we add 3 more so this 3 is the interval from the initial value which is 1 okay then from now on I'm gonna indicate interval when uh, express as H here okay then this point now we can rewrite again 1 comma F1 now this this become 1 plus 3 comma f1 plus 3 so using this I'm going to set up slope again then m equal to f1 plus 3 minus f1 over 1 plus 3 minus 1 then this to cancel out therefore this becomes f1 plus 3 minus f1 over 3 here okay so I'm gonna fix the first point using functional notation again so 1 comma f1 and then maybe set up another point of course using function notation so which is 5 comma f5 then then now as you know 5 is 4 more than 1 so in this case h becomes 4 right so this point can be rewritten 1 comma f1 and then 1 plus 4 comma f1 plus 4 again right so slope m equal to f1 plus 4 minus f1 over 1 plus 4 minus 1 then as you see 1 and negative 1 cancelled out so this becomes f1 plus 4 minus f1 over 4 okay so based on this you know we just cover two different example here so if you use interval between two x values then this one usually the initial value plus interval minus uh, initial value over interval basically okay then now so far I just I just generate only two of them but I can make many point using interval such as 1 comma f1 and then 1 plus h comma f1 plus h 
because if I choose 6, then h become 5. If I choose 10, then h become 9, something like that. So since h can be very various, so I can rewrite like this way. Then this m become usually f1 plus h minus f1 over, so for now, based on our experiment, so we can just say h here. Okay, now, initial value, do we have to set it always 1? No, that's not true. It can be any value. If you want to set up from negative 2, then initial value become negative 2. If you start from 10, then initial value become 10. Okay, so I'm going to set up x as initial value. Then, this slope formula, so point become x comma fx, and then x plus h comma fx plus h, therefore m becomes fx plus h minus fx over h, right? Basically, that's the different quotient formula here. So, before we are using total order pair, but now, in this case, if you know the function, and then maybe initial value, which you set up basically, or what will be given to you, then you can find slope based on that. Okay? Then, let's look at one example, so that we can see how we can utilize it. So, given function, f x equal to 3x plus 4. And if we want to find out f1 plus h minus f1 over h basically. Okay. Which means we set up initial equal to 1 and then we have income here. Therefore, you need to find out f1 plus h and f1 using these two fun these functions. Okay, so let's find out f1 plus h first. It means you are plugging this value into x here. So we can write 3 times 1 plus h plus 4. So 3 plus 3h plus 4, which is 7 plus 3h. Okay, that's the f1 plus h. Now, second, what's f1? Yeah, same thing. You are plug, you are plugging 1 into x here. Then, 3 times 1 plus 4, which is 7. So now we are ready to plug all those values into this formula. So this becomes 7 plus 3h minus 7 over h basically. Then it becomes 7 plus 3h minus 7 over h. As you see, h and minus um, 7 and minus 7 cancelled out. So this becomes 3h over h. h cancelled out, so become 3. So there, there is the answer for this case.